want a pony. I want a pony more than anything else in the world. When we drive in the country, my parents stop the car whenever we pass by a farm. I lean against the fence and smell the horses. It is my favorite smell. Every time I ask my mother if we can have a pony, she always says the same thing. Ponies cost too much money. Every time I ask my father, he says, we have no place to keep it. They both say, maybe when you're older. But I still want a pony. I want one now. When I'm supposed to be doing my homework, I dream of riding my pony. I will call her Silver. She has dapples and a shiny coat. When I draw her, it's as if she comes alive. She's so alive, I can jump on her back and away we go into the night sky. We go to a wood where the tall trees smell all tiny and the squirrels chatter at us. We trot over a stream with clear water and spotted stones. We travel in moonlight, silver and I. I can see the tossing manes and flickering tails of other horses. They stand under the trees watching us. Silver canters toward them with hooves just, just touching the ground. The other horses want to know who we are. I touch their muzzles and forelocks. They nicker softly and push my hand. They are gray, palomino, chestnut, and blue roan. All of them are beautiful, but none is as beautiful as Silver. No matter where I go, Silver is with me. We gallop through the cold mountain stream. Together we flash like a comet across the sky. Then we come down between two clouds. I slip off of Silver's back and give her a dream peppermint. When my drawing of Silver is finished, I turn off the light. It's time to kiss my parents goodnight. I will ask again for a pony and they may say no, but for now, I am happy. Just outside my window. Always. The end. And that is the story of my pony.